Welcome back. We're so excited to be back in the kitchen with Amy and Lauren and Karen. So we have our special guest, Karen England, here today to join us in the kitchen because we're still talking herbs and what can we do with them. And That's Karen right. is the special, the special herb person. Herbologist. <laughs> yes, she is the herbologist. herbologist. Absolutely. And Lauren gets to be the button pusher with me today. <laughs> 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 we both get to assist Karen and her genius. That's right. And she's brought us an amazing spread, an amazing array. Karen, why don't we just, let's go. Let's what are go. we doing? Well, it's, we're filming this in January, and I understand that it's going to show in um, February. And there's not a lot of blossoms in my yard, but there's a bunch of citrus. So, and if you've been to the grocery store any time recently, at the very front, the impulse buy, the grocery store is slicing up some lemons sure. and mm -hmm. putting it in a plastic bottle and selling it to you for a lot more than that lemon and what water would cost mm -hmm. you. So I'm going to show you that you can grow it all here in Southern California mm -hmm. and you can make hot tea, which I'm going to do with some herbs that Oh, these Ooh, are and may flowers. I hold this? Yes, yes. I love this. What I it. want I'm you so excited. What about. I want you to know about the reason that this is like this is because I I used it at my house to salad spin clean these mm -hmm. the herbs. Yes. Okay. So and it then smells heavenly. Doesn't it smell oh, good? Oh, it divine. smells heavenly. Okay, so this is an, a teapot with a infuser center if you don't have this and lots of people don't mm -hmm. you can get this easily anywhere this is a french press the only thing you want to do with a french press and i'm going to let you get this out of my way sure. now because i'm not going to use it but okay you don't want a french press that's been used for coffee because coffee oils will stay in that and it will detract from the herbs okay i'm just so, going to get a facial while i, stay <laughs> I <know. laughs> so what i'm what i'm going to quickly do here is tell you that I'm going to fill this infuser okay. with this is sweet lavender okay and I'm just is that different from not regular sweet lavender? lavender it yeah. is it it is a variety uh, lavandula heterophylla is the botanical name okay. if I go in here there's dentata this is lavender dentata that's what we're more of French mm -hmm. seeing, is right? what it's mm -hmm. called and I also have some Twickle Purple in here. That's their name, not mine, although that's something I would call things. Twickle Purple. Yeah. Okay. Love it. So this is a lovely rose whose name I've forgotten. But as long as the rose oh, smells, smells fragrant, amazing. it will taste fragrant. Okay. It will have it Good to fragrance know. equals flavor in this case. Okay. So to Prepare a rose that's been organically grown. Mm -hmm. So you can't do this from florist roses okay. mm -hmm. at all. And besides, have you noticed florist roses don't smell like roses? They don't yes, smell like anything. I smell have noticed all. that. And they can, in some cases, smell like the fertilizer and the pesticides that they've been given yeah. instead of oh dear. like nothing. But anyway. Oh, yeah. So we don't want them. No. Okay. So you, one hand holds the petals. Okay. One hand grabs the, this is the Stay. hip. Mm. This is the, but the rose hips are the oh. future seed. That's okay. what's right there. Okay. And you twist. Okay. And you take out that. <gasps> and you put that in Just there. The petals. Okay, wow. so we've got lavender and pink roses. <laughs> uh huh. This is calendula. Okay. And same thing. Same. Calendula. Thing. Thing. Very this nice. is a uh, rose scented geranium blossom. I couldn't believe I had a blossom. I've got uh, this. It was just for us. Yeah, it was. This is a citrus scented geranium leaf. This is amazing. I just smelled that. This That's is a rose scented geranium leaf. You can tell just by looking at it? Yes. Oh my gosh. And smelling it. That's and amazing. I grew it. I, I picked it for you. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is you. bay. And bay. I've used bay leaves in cooking before. Yes. Mm. I use it in my morning oatmeal. Somehow I'm pretty sure her bay leaf doesn't taste like my this bay leaf. This is Cleveland sage blossom. Okay. And a Cleveland? Cleveland sage is native to the Cleveland National Forest. Mm. Oh. That's how it got its name. Interesting. Okay. Which is all along our ridge here. So here's that. Oh, we've got some basil blossoms. Um, I'm making a mess. I'm it's okay. I'm this sorry. Is, this is so not a mess. Cool. This so is that thing of total beauty. <laughs> yes. Bay, yes. Geranium, more lavender. Rose. lavender. These are rose, rose hips from the native California rose. Oh wow! Wow. So the, the birds left me a couple. 
<laughs> I love so that you're we'll supporting me. Team. You're supporting the <laughs> natural community as yes. well. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some more <laughs> scented geraniums. Mm. Oh, is there this is kefir lime leaf. Is there some no, amount I'm just, that's perfect? No, until I'm happy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we want you to get it. <laughs> just until I feel like you guys will be able to. So this is a kefir leaf of this. Yes. So this is the kefir lime. Yes. yes. Okay. Which I had more. never actually seen. No, yeah, I was like, what in the world is that? You grow the plant amazing. for the leaves for cooking. Really? And it makes a delicious tea, the leaves. I also use the leaves of a pink lemonade lemon. There that, is such a thing? Yeah. That is this right here. Oh, wow. And mm. that is pink lemonade lemon. So wow. there's actually a pink lemon. I didn't know yes. that. I didn't know that either. So I thought it was just like colored pink. Can you yeah. see the difference between the Meyer lemon color yes. and that? Oh, so is that, um, this, this is the Meyer lemon. This is Meyer. And this is the pink lemon. Yes. It's and kind of this like is a kefir cut, kefir lime cut open. And it's so bitter you don't use it, you use the leaves. Interesting. But before I was growing this, I was using the pink lemonade lemon leaves. Mm. Smell that. I will. Mm. Oh my goodness. So, and now Ooh, this is the kefir awesome. lime. Yeah. So, I wish we could if have you don't have kefir lime, I know. Yours, I wish we could know? smell <laughs> this. It this is really amazing. Good. A little aromatherapy. You'll have to take our okay. word for it. And then some rosemary oh, yeah. blossoms. Unbelievable. And mm. let's see. Okay. Oh, some more of that. Rose and let's, let's see. I think okay. it's time to pour. I think it's time to pour. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. no more? <laughs> no, yeah. She's not happy yet. Cool. Oh. <laughs> uh, Nasturtium. I'm happy. I'm Nasturtium? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Okay, you ready? Okay. I'm happy. I can what pour now. What was that? Nasturtium. 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 Okay, so. Is there a secret? Or there am I is doing a secret. Okay? There is a secret. You get it in the pot. Okay. That's, you're That's doing the it. Secret. Good job, Lauren. So I learned is, from you. There actually <laughs> is a secret, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. This it is smells triple filtered water from my house, oh. as opposed to tap water. Okay. okay. Which is very um, uh, full of things that will. This is such a, a delicate, pure aroma. creation. Yes. Oh that if you goodness. have water that has additives in it, mm -hmm. minerals, heavy mm -hmm. minerals, and that sort of thing, It will you will taste that. Oh, so wow. we're going to let that steep for a minute. That is okay. amazing. Put this back here. While I am going to make us some infused water. water. You can see how easy this is. Okay. So I've got blood oranges. Okay. I've got grapefruit. Just whatever you've got, this, right? Exactly. Wow. <laughs> just the citrus. The bigger the jar, it. the more you use. That's a, oh my that gosh. is awesome. So here we go. And we're going to put in some leaves. And tell me again, this is the pink the lemonade, lemonade, lemonade lemon. lemon and, and that's the kefir? Yeah, yep. Mm. And let's see. Oh, let's I, want, I want to take a bath in this stuff. Okay. Okay. It smells so, so good. Oh my lord. <laughs> so can you see that I went to college to learn to do this? Yeah. <laughs> I am so good at putting it stuff looks, in a jar. You know what? It's an art. It is definitely it is. an art. You make it look effortless, but I'm, I'm serious, in my mind, I'm like, I have to remember I have this. a PhD. Well, was, but like everything in else. Pouring, <laughs> putting stuff in jugs and pouring water on it. Okay, so I also want you to know that you, if you're not growing citrus, you could use lemongrass. This is lemongrass from my yard. This is lemongrass? Yeah. Lemon verbena. Ooh, I, wonder, I always wondered what that was. Yep, lemon verbena. Huh, smell that. Lemon yep. Verbena. So, and it mm. is, so mm. even I if I love you, lemon verbena. Wow. So there's also lemon basil. I didn't bring any. There's mm -hmm. lemon thyme. Wow. So now we're just making infused water as opposed to juice. Yeah. So no, mm. this we're is just going to infuse the water. Yeah. This Perfect. is so beautiful. So this is, and also for leftover fruit or fruit yes. that's just turning. What a yes. great idea. Wow. Okay. I, I could even I'm do this. Done. I, my you New Year's goal is to cook totally three times a week. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, I have, I don't know if you want honey in yours. I don't put honey in mine. I tend to not put anything I, in I mine. I think we just do pure. At least we take pure. it first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pure. So. Uh, the other thing is that the longer it steeps, it changes in complexity, but we don't have forever. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go uncomplex. And <laughs> it's good. We're simple. Yes, simple, simple, simple is good for us. Because nobody's here judging us. Please don't judge Please us. Please don't judge us. <laughs> um, <laughs> but 
but you could make tea along with us and yeah, join us for yeah, a right, and you tea. can steep it for longer. And, Absolutely. And if this was medicine, which this isn't, this, it's certainly good for us, but if it was medicine treating something, there would be a prescribed amount of time, a certain amount mm. of the herb, a certain amount of water. Interesting. Yeah, but th we're not doing that. Oh. And I've grown the napkins for our tea today. Which are? Um, peppermint scented geraniums. They, they feel so like before, velvet. Before we pay, uh, before we pour this, I want to make sure the camera, because this will change, and I want to make sure the camera gets to see how oh, incredibly it beautiful is so hey, it, is. It, it looks good on it looks it looks good on camera. Right? <laughs> it does. It does. It's it looks very good on camera. camera. So maybe put the cup down so okay. I don't spill on you. Okay, then are you going to be the mother of the pot? I will be. Okay, mother, I will pour. That's her new name. Mother of the pot. Pours? That's the term for the person who pours. For okay. real? Yeah. Oh, for real. Wow. You're the mother. What of the do you pot? call the person that drinks it? <laughs> The daughter. <laughs> the daughter. I am the daughter of the pot. The daughter. The daughter of the tea. I am happy to pour. I love tea. I love the oh, whole. Oh, me too. The, the whole, whole experience. experience of tea. Amen. Mm -hmm. In every mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. In every single culture, it, it, it there's an experience so much, of tea. So much about community and breaking bread together. Oh, but yeah. this is amazing. This is so beautiful. Thank you. So I flunked out of a tea etiquette course, which is another show entirely. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> so it's not a true. What have I done? Why, what have what, I done what, wrong? What no, no. But uh, he, what you want? Let's just hold that there for a second. Okay, what you want to do? Yes. Oh, this is yes. so This is fun. such a Valentine's Day moment. Oh, like it is. passion and love and beauty and, and hearts and, yes. and friends. Yes. All those things. And we have uh, deviled eggs with the herbs that. Uh, also, I'm and excited we do, to which devour are from those. Karen's to go chickens with our tea. Yes, that she yes. also brought us to enjoy yes. with our tea yes. okay. for this Valentine's Day. Do, ladies. do you do you like you click, do cheers? Do you do cheers on tea? Is that sure? Why not? Is that in tea etiquette? But yes, it cheers. is in my class. Yes. <laughs> it is in ours too. Thank you. It is now. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Best okay, Valentine's so Day excited. ever. Thank you. It is the best Valentine's Day ever. This is so fun. Beautiful. You'll have to join I feel us like next I time. I feel like I could just smell it, and then I taste it, and it's like even better. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just unbelievable. This is amazing. Well, I love how the fragrance informs your mm -hmm. taste buds. Yeah, oh, nice. absolutely. Totally mm -hmm. So does. if you put herbs in there that had no fragrance, you would have no flavor. Oh, yeah. This is just wonderful. And every day I pick mm. different things, and so it tastes we'll a little different. Come to your house. Yes. Road trip. Yay. <laughs> We're totally Definitely. doing a road trip. Well, it's in San Diego, right? Yeah. yeah. Close. Okay. So I'm we on absolutely the, I'm on the the border of uh, Orange County. So any so of our viewers can, can do it. Oh, and are, yeah. And actually, and actually, my pub is private, but I'm. Would you be willing to take a bus tour? As yes. Well? If that, I organize a bus tour yes, for Laguna Woods, uh, yes, I'm um, absolutely. That? Yes. that would be I have had, I've had a garden club come and I've taught them er herbal cocktails oh, in oh the gosh. garden around the pub. Oh my We're goodness! Totally. Doing okay, a let's road do trip this for <laughs> Laguna sure. Woods. Bus yes. Road trip to the pub to the to Edge the, Hill Farm, Edge Hill Herb Farm, farm pub. Yes, but okay, you, you, you do know it's just my shed that I call a pub. Oh, yeah, I mean, just but just when you have <laughs> this kind of stuff coming out of it, I yeah. mean, it is a, it's an, an experience. An amazing, good, that's what good. we're after. So good. we, our public, our publisher, our producer has said wrap it up. Even though we could go on for 20 more minutes about <laughs> this, but we had a fantastic show, didn't we, Lauren? Thank you so much for joining us. We had a fantastic show, it and we look forward to seeing you again the next time. Good, good day, day, Orange, Orange County. County.